Good evening and welcome uh, to uh, a bit of an update on the preservation that's 1950 Chris Craft Riviera 20 here in Hamilton, New Zealand. And uh, today is uh, Monday the 6th of April and just yesterday, Sunday, uh, we, meet, we reached quite a milestone when we um, used these chains and tackle here to uh, flip the boat over and wrestle her onto her cradle uh, for topside work and uh, deck replacement. So this is sort of the first chance we've been able to. We had a look at the at the um, at this boat uh, when we bought it clearly, and we had a sort of a look around the decks, but we didn't really get much of a chance to have a, a decent look and set a bit of a plan. So um, we've done that. So I thought what we'll do today is just sort of document where we're at and what we think we're going to have to do. Uh, in the preservation of this boat, so uh, starting up at the bow, I'm trying to keep as much original timber as I possibly can, but also having to be a bit pragmatic to it. So uh, up on the starboard forward corner here, um, we're going to retain all the timber uh, in this boat um, through this king plank. Um, we're looking to try and retain this. It's got a little bit of uh, damage just here, a bit of rot just here, but I'm hoping that we can just Dutch with a bit of timber in here because the rest of this, these king planks are quite good. We have to bring this together here, of course. Same on this side. So um, I've just picked uh, the corking out of down through here. Um, so that's uh, that's a bit of that. This boat had had a uh, it had a tow hook um, fastened through here. Um, at some point in the past, so I've blocked that when we did the inside, and I'll put a uh, block of timber in there and shape that um, for when we do that, we'll be finished. Um, through this side, I've just, uh, tonight, just sanded this combing board. It was quite knocked around, and I was just quite keen to understand um, just how um, good the timber stock was and whether or not we could get away with keeping it, um, or whether or not that timber had to be replaced. So I've just given it a quick run with some, um, some 80 grit, and just started to see what it looks like. And in reality, considering it was um, it was in pretty, you know, quite knocked around, it sanded up pretty good. So I suppose there's lots of timber in there to to help us with that cause. So sanded that, um, just giving this a quick sand, just trying to understand how hard this varnish is to, go, uh, to be getting off. Um, and it certainly looks like it's going to be a bit of a job for sure. So so that's, uh, that's through that part of the boat. Um, planks are pretty much as what we had. Um, of course, this um, lower plank we had off when we did the 50 to 100 bottom. And of course, we've got all new chines on there, which is good. Um, the boat has certainly moved a bit over summer. Um, but look, um, they are what they are, aren't they? So uh, that's that. Um, onto the forward port corner. Um, Clearly most noticeable is this bit of damage here and uh, this top plank um, runs all the way back down to here. I don't really want to replace that plank. Um, it's a hell of a bend. Um, so um, good cabinet maker friend of mine um, because the chrome work comes up here and the rail comes through here we believe that we can Dutch when a repair in here that'll be um, uh, acceptable in the solution. So. Yeah, so that front chrome comes up here. Um, and of course, uh, the, the chrome trim comes through here. So we won't be left with a lot of visible timber stock, but we'll put that back together some 5200 and, and make that good. Um, and probably 5200, this front seam completely, to be honest, uh, right down to the waterline because it is going to be covered with the chrome cap. Uh, so that's sort of the front. Um, uh, this is not too bad to be honest. I'm a little bit more excited than what I was sort of thought I was going to be when I uh, When I bought the boat the whole time the boat's been upside down. I've been wondering what I'm going to be in for so um, Up on that uh, up on the forward deck uh, This one plank here This one plank here is going to need replacing it's split all the way through here. So this plank section will be replaced um, It's a bit of a disappointment really because it's um it's quite a good uh, it's quite a good piece of timber um, so that's that um, and all the rest is you know the obligatory sanding and all that sort of stuff on this side it's not bad it's um, these um, blonde planks are good this one's got a little split in it just here uh, but once again um, I think we can fill that 
um, and try and preserve that bit of timber um, rather than just simply taking it all apart for the sake of taking it apart. Uh, so that's through here, um, coming back down this side. So obviously the transom is where most of the focus is going to have to be in this boat oh, well, while we're here. So that's a bit of a shot of the um, 50, inside of the 5200 floor that, we, uh, that we've spent the last sort of 12 months on. Um, it's got an all new ply liner. Um, and obviously all new battens and and uh, and then you can see the tops of these new oak frames running through the back end of the boat so um, pretty dirty and dusty in there but all in all um, it'll it'll clean up and um, paint up fine it's a bit messy up the front it just got a bit um, tight when you're with all the with all the adhesives and stuff so um, but look that'll uh, uh, we're really pleased with how that come up so down to the transom so a bit of work to be done on the transom of this boat. Um, first and foremost is uh, these uh, three uh, king planks will be replaced. So I've taken these out of the boat um, today um, just to understand what's going on in there under around um, the, the sub timber. This will all be taken apart and 5200 back together. Um, the king planks um, are here. So those are the, the three king planks and they'll, they'll make some good, uh, some good templates. Um, the the um this around the engine frame so once again you know it's always the place where the water hangs so these boats sit uh, stern down and this boat has got um some localized timber rot through here and uh in this corner on the fore aft section that holds the engine hatch um side trim so um what we're going to do there is we're going to i'm going to cut a section out of here this one comes right across the boat so i don't want to take that out we're going to cut, it, remove a section of timber out of here, about 50 to 60 percent up, and I'm going to sister on some stock, uh, glue it and clamp it, um, and then um, put another piece of timber in there and dress it so that it looks factory from the outside, um, but gets rid of that localized rot. Um, clearly, these tops are made out of you know, the frames are mahogany. Uh, the frames are oak, but the top sections of these boats are all just mahogany, and of course, then the localized rot in that corner. And the same as in this corner on this side of the boat, just under my finger here. Uh, we're going to remove um, this section of timber through here and, um, and replace that with all new timber. Um, it'll smarten up the side of the um, engine room as you look in and, uh, and get rid of that localised rot. So that's not so hard to do. Um, and through here. And then of course you're looking down through there and you can see a hole in the side of the boat. And once again, these boats, uh, you know, everyone sits them uh, down in the transom when they store them and all the water sits in the boot. And so this boat is going to have um, two new planks. Uh, this bottom plank has been replaced because it had split and um, just really badly in this back corner here. Uh, it had split through here. So we're replacing that. And then this centre plank up, the plank was actually okay, but someone in all their wisdom, and you can see a bit of it here, had decided to... Uh, glue on um, the rub rail but of course they hadn't put the rub rail across the full width of the timber and so by doing it the way that they did it they created a cavity in the middle for the water to sit and it fucking rotted all the back of it out so you know there's a right way and a wrong way for most things and clearly what this guy did with all the right intention was the wrong way so this this plank here will be um, square cut uh, up through to about here and a new plank section run through um, and then obviously a new um, lower planks. That's both sides. It's both sides of the boat. Um, I can just show you around here. It's been a bit of a busy night, a bit of gear everywhere. So yes, so this plank here, uh, once again, same thing, rot here because they hadn't done it properly. Um, this bottom plank uh, to be sisted in up the, uh, to be butt jointed in up the front. And then this one here, we'll um, we'll find a section through here, and uh, and run a new plank f to the uh, to the transom. So that's that side, and then up on the top, um, a bit of uh, and this is where it gets a bit serious. Is so we've got a full new transom to build. It had rotted away um, in the bottom corners and in the top corners, um, and you can see this localized rot here. So this plank's got to be replaced, um, both sides. This one here is not quite so bad, but. And then a whole new transom um, assembly um, to be made and installed on the boat, which um, pretty basic work. We've already done a bit of this when the boat was upside down. Um, put new battens in, 
Um, and, and this piece here, which is interesting, this piece here um, originally is just fixed in, so it doesn't have this web, and this is just fixed in with screws from uh, the underside of this bottom bow um, up into the timber, and of course that doesn't last, it just flog out. So um, we modified this part of the boat to put this in here to give it a bit of structural strength, and we'll be doing the same up at this point when we put the um, when we put it all back together just to give it some strength in this part. Um, for all intents and purposes, this is behind the gas tank down the bottom, so you won't see it, and this will be up here and you won't see it either. So it'll look stock, but um, will provide a lot more structural strength than, um, than how they did it in the factory back 70 years ago. So, so that's sort of where we're at, um, a bit of an overview. Uh, tonight's just been a bit of an explorer. It's my first night on the boat um, since it's been upside down. Um, and it's just a bit of exploratory work to try and understand and get my bearings as to what I've got to do um, and what we need to do. So it'll have new um, um, running boards um, or corner boards um, through here. Um, this one here, you can see, is quite badly rotted. Um, and so once again, they're only butt jointed. So we'll just cut that, I mean, we're gonna cut that stock back to here um, and then bring another piece down rather than taking this piece off because to take this piece off, you come all the way back up to here. And that's just not really an option. That's just a huge amount of work for nothing. So, so that's a bit of an update. Uh, boat's flipped over, uh, 6th of April, 2020. Um, boat's flipped over and we're just starting to get our bearings on the preservation on the top sides of this 1950 Chris Craft Riviera, Riviera 20 in Hamilton, New Zealand.